Yes, we have hard times and most of you have to stay at home because of coronavirus. I also have to stay at home, but it's not a big issue because my home's my workshop. So I decided to go creative with a simple project. Hopefully most of you are also able to do yourself. And what I will do is I will paint this helmet only with brushes. And if you want to go creative as well, let's do it together. What I like to do is I like to paint on some bad teeth on this helmet to show coronavirus the teeth like a lion. And what I use is Createx color, some brushes and a varnish to seal the artwork. And as you have seen, I'm right in the middle of the preparation. And the first step is to rub the helmet with such a scuff pad. You can find it in your kitchen maybe. And if not, link in the description. And when we have produced a matte surface, we are done. Even if you have a matte painted helmet, you need to scuff the surface to prepare it for the color. Next step is masking because I want to save my artwork with some clear coat and varnish. And this clear coat can damage the polystyrene inside the helmet. It can melt such polystyrene. And to save it from the clear coat, I have to mask the complete inside of the helmet and also all the ventilation holes. And that's what we have to do before we can start with the artwork. Yes, I know that's time consuming, but the boring part is done. And now we can do the cool part, the artwork on the helmet. The first thing we need to do is we need to trace the shape of the helmet to a piece of paper. And it's easy. You stick the piece of paper on the helmet with some of the masking tape. And then trace the shape of the helmet. And you can use your fingers and rub along the edges. And you need only a rough shape. And use the ventilation holes for orientation. And that is the area we can use for the graphic I like to paint on the helmet. I make different sketches of the teeth I like to paint on the helmet and that one is my favorite one. And now we have to trace these teeth to the helmet. But we have a problem. 
we have not only one side, we have two sides, a left and a right one, and we have to trace these T's on both sides. And to do so, I use some transparency paper to make stencils and to cut stencils to trace the T's on the helmet. So let's check how we can do that. So they are drawing of the T's underneath a piece of transparency paper and I like to trace the lower jaw as the first mask. And I have to trace all the lines, only the outlines. Now I have to cut along these lines and that will be my first mask. And the cool thing is you can use this mask for both sides because you can turn it around. And it's absolutely simple. Stick the mask onto the helmet with some masking tape and trace all the lines with a sharpie or a marker. So let's do it. Do the same on the left side and when you have done this, make some more stencils for all the teeth and also for the upper jaw. I've done this with every single tooth and now I have a perfect trace on both sides of the helmet and it's time for color. I will start with opaque white and I will paint the teeth first. That's the brush I use for the teeth and now let's go ahead with the fun part of the custom painting project. Yeah, that's it, the color, and it doesn't look good. Looks a bit like a preschool boy had painted it. No front if you are a preschool boy, but it's not a good idea to show off with such a helmet in the bike park because all your friends will get wet pants and it's not because of the dust, it's because they will piss themselves laughing at your helmet and laughing at you. And that's not what we want. So we have to fix this problem. And what we want to do is that. That's a cool helmet you can do a show of this. And it's very simple. The only thing we have to do is we have to add some light and shadow to the custom painting. And I will use a small brush. 
size 2, some self-mixed color, so let's do the cool custom painting without risking wet pants of your friends. Okay, fast check, what's the difference of the right and the left side of the helmet? And that's obvious, on the right side I have only three base colors, a plain white, a dark red and a mid-gray, fast brushed without any detail, I buffed the surface and that's my base for the custom painting and on the left side I added much more detail in different shades and that's what we want to do in the next steps and we have to mix some color to add these details and that's also simple, I bought a scarlet red for the highlights and for the base color I used a darker red by adding some black to the red and what we also need is an orange and you can either buy the orange or you can mix it with yellow and red and these are the three tones we need for the 3D effect of the T-switch and that's what we do in the next step. Okay, put your three colors in a row and now we do a blending and that means start with scarlet red, add some highlights, and add also some of the orange and now blend these two colors. And that's all, that's very simple. You have to imagine the hills and the valleys or the shadows and the highlights as you will see it. And you need some practice and some imagination. And on the highlights you will use the orange and in the valleys you will use the dark red and in between you can use the scarlet red. And that's all the magic. And the good thing is, if something went wrong, you can brush it again and again until you like the result you have produced. So let's start brushing and blend in these shadows. Yeah, it looks pretty good and now we have to do the same with the teeth and also with the skin on top of the teeth switch and to do so I will use a light gray and also a dark gray and I will add some shadows to the teeth. Okay, we have a nice 3D effect on the teeth ridge and also on the teeth, but what we don't have is the eyeball we have on the left side. And I like to show you a trick. 
how to transfer the eyeball on the right side and it's mainly the same trick I used for all the other design elements but I will paint it direct on the helmet. I painted such an eyeball onto my sketch and now I will use again a sheet of transparency paper to trace it and I will start with the outline. And to cut this outline I will use a knife. And now I can use the transparency paper as a stencil to paint the outline direct on the helmet. I do a rough cut with the scissors and I will stick the eyeball, the outline onto the helmet with some masking tape. In the same way I did on the left side. And now we can use the transparency paper as a stencil and we can paint the outline onto the helmet. I did the same with the white eyeball and it's looking good but there's still a small difference between the right side and the left side and that is the black outline between the colors and this black outline gives the graphic its depth so we have to do this outline also on the right side to create a deep shiny effect and an aggressive look of these teeth. The design is done, but we are not ready. We have the typical brush structure, the brush strokes, and to make this cool, we have to remove the structure. And to do so, I will use varnish. I will apply different layers with sanding in between. And if you want to know how to make this cool, stay tuned. And I like to show you how to produce a smooth surface of such a brush design. It's time to play the clear coat game and I stick the helmet on a stick with some masking tape and one word before all the self-proclaimed Virgin Marys and Mother Therese start to spam in my comment section if you think the clear coat will destroy the helmet and if you think the helmet will splash like a watermelon hit by a sledgehammer please 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 watch the helmet painting video and listen to my words and to all the Virgin Marys who think I will ruin my lungs Yes, it's a good idea to wear a respirator. A half mask is okay. You don't need a full face mask. The half mask has an A2 filter and for the clear coat an A1 filter with a P2 combination is needed. So that's more than enough to save the lungs. And if you think it's dangerous, don't ride fucking bikes. It's much more dangerous. And if you don't ride bikes, you don't need to paint a helmet. Okay, that's all for you Virgin Marys. And now we can clear coat the helmet. And what I will do is, I will add three layers of clear coat. I will start with a gloss clear coat with a delay of 10 minutes. 
First layer, delay of 10 minutes. Next layer, delay of 10 minutes. Next layer. I wait until it's dry, then I can send the clear coat, and then I will do a flat finish clear coat. Okay, so let's start. That was the first layer, it's time for coffee in between. It's time for light sanding. And what we need is a bucket of piss warm water, the helmet, 800 grit wet sanding paper, and then wrap the helmet until it's matte. All the brush strokes are gone and we have a nice and even surface and that's perfect for the finishing clear coat. And I will not apply a gloss clear coat because I like the matte surface, so I will apply a matte clear coat with a rattle can. We need only one thin layer of this matte clear coat and if you want to do such a matte finish on your helmet or your bike, I will link you some of the clear coat in the video description. And here it is, the painted helmet with a matte finish, brushed design. I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more of my custom painting stuff. Check also my Insta and Facebook for my daily stuff. Thanks for watching and see you in one of my next custom painting videos.